so fucking cheesy. All right, everyone. Welcome to the Sticky Pancake Club podcast. My name is Jason, otherwise known as Jada Shogun. And with me today are... Today? Not always. Are we going to do this every time? We're, are you gonna are you gonna are you gonna do this every time april if you could please introduce yourself before i get angry <laughs> sorry I, sorry pumpkin got my log and i got distracted uh, i uh, i'm, uh, I'm april and also Booper. and if we could please get the other gentleman on the line to introduce himself <laughs> um tyler and also cheese and i'm a I'm a I'm I'm free I'm a frequenter on the Goo Crew channel. Right, we didn't we didn't ask for all that extra stuff, but um, I, okay, today we're gonna be talking about I'm, various topics from which we have not decided <clears throat> upon. I'm a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie. So as a as a little precursor, why don't we talk about some things we've been experiencing through the week? We'll start with. Um, <laughs> April, let's start with you. We we hear you've been you've been watching a a particular show. I've been watching The Flash. Gotta say, took a bit of a break from it because I hate Iris. I hate her so much. (laughs) Okay, we'll get into that later. We'll get into that later. Also, that's enough. Your time slot is over. I do. I do like Zoom, but he's not as cool as Reverse Flash. I like The Flash. I've been watching it for years. I um, also like the Flash. I have not been past watching season it for years. Sucks, though. I am like mid season two. I'm almost done with season two. Sorry. I liked um was it the last one of season nine. I liked season eight. Season eight was fun. Season eight. Um, I don't know. I feel like all of the latest seasons have been pretty mid as of late. No, but they kind of picked it up in season eight. I didn't. I've watch seen. The last I've one. seen season eight, but season eight doesn't really. I like season eight. It doesn't Dude, feel the who same. Who's the villain in season eight? Oh, uh, I don't even remember. <laughs> they're so forgettable. All the Flash villains are. Oh my god. Um, Except the ones that are like the Flash himself. <laughs> Those are the yeah, really interesting. Who is the villain of season eight? I don't remember. Is it reverse Flash again? I might have actually been Reverse Flash again. I think it's Reverse Flash again. Again. Oh I think it's Reverse Flash again. Let me look it up. It's always like this. If the villain doesn't have super Um, speed, then he's not interesting. Negative. Negative. Well, while he works on that... It's hard. (laughs) It's what? Um, Hard. To find the villain? Yes. Is there more than one or something? Deathstorm. Deathstorm. That's why it was so forgettable. (laughs) You guys... You remember Deathstorm? Come on. Oh, no. He was the worst Flash villain I've I ever seen in my life. <laughs> no, you haven't. He comes out of nowhere and he doesn't do anything. Um, the rest of the season's pretty good, though. If you say so. Um, I do say so. <laughs> but anyway, um, we were Dark having this episode. We were having a conversation before we started the podcast about if it's better to be um about is it better to how you holding your breath lets you pee better? <laughs> no, no, not that one. <laughs> um I don't know about that one. Uh I think it was about if it's if it's better to be uncomfortably hot or uncomfortably cold. Oh right. I I think it's better to be uncomfortably cold. Most, Obviously, um, in most situations. In most Obviously. situations, I believe in. Well, I'll I'll put it like this. I'll put it like this. Um, I'd rather be warm than what? extremely cold. Um, like warm, hot. There's only two: warm, hot and cold. No, like um, how can I put it? Um, like. You know how like you might be sitting in like your room and just just be sweaty, yeah. Be hot and sweaty. I've got like a leather couch, so I'd rather be hot and sweaty than just be like extremely cold. Because um, Why? when I went up to 
if you've ever been to Michigan, then you would know. You know, like, I've never been to Michigan. <laughs> I've been to Ohio. Been... Ohio. That's pretty Ohio. close. I went on a road trip to Ohio. And, and it gets back. it gets really cold up there. And it was good. It was during uh, December. It was really cold. I really enjoyed I North how cold it was. I guess we dis- differ in that aspect. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be extremely cold. Oh, yeah. I like I the cold. Um, oh, I'm never going to bed. I had so cold in my room. Like, oh, yeah. Whenever literally. I lived underneath April here, our, my, you remember my little oh, yeah. uh, room. My little room. And um, it didn't have heating. The whole place did not have like a heating system. So I just had a little... Uh, I just had a little heater that I put next to my legs while I gamed. And it felt pretty fucking cozy. He said it felt heavenly earlier. Don't let it confuse you. Heavenly. It felt good. This felt ecstatic. You it's know what doesn't feel good? The fact that... You know, <laughs> that April here... I don't know if you guys have heard about this, but they're releasing... They Red Dead Redemption. No, 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 no. <laughs> They're releasing Red Dead Redemption for next gen consoles. Re- and it's just a port. It's only a port. And, $50. and they're charging $50 for it for just well, a port. Well, you know my thoughts. Red Dead cells are seething right now. But you know, we have Decent a Red point. Dead cell here right now. <laughs> So let's get it straight from the source. Listen, listen, Why listen. do you think it's worth it? Do you, do you claim to be a Red Dead cell? No, I just like Red Dead. But the only reason I'm going to do it is because I'm lazy and don't want to actually go to my Xbox. buy it. I might do it. I'm considering wait, it. Wait, wait. You have it on your Xbox, yes. and you're you're going to buy it fifty dollars again, so you don't have to turn on your Xbox. It's for convenience. <laughs> That's so batshit insane. Yes. I am aware how <laughs> stupid it is. You know what? You know what else isn't doesn't feel good? <laughs> you know, speaking having uh when when your when your hair gets a little bit too long. Mm-hmm. Where are you going? Thanks to, where thanks, where are you going here? Thanks to There's no to, sponsors. <laughs> no, there's no sponsors. <laughs> Me undies, no. <laughs> Thanks to Manscaped. <laughs> while we're on the while we're on the topic, let's talk about um, game studios. You know, no. just kind of running our wallets as of late. No. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> I'm good. I like games. <laughs> I. Well, you see, I I like games, and they sell games. So as long as they sell games, I'm gonna buy games. So. Jason, weren't you talking about how you were itching to spend money on Warframe earlier? That's true. You did say that. You said I ain't played Warframe. Oh, I, I never said. Weeks, I never, but I'm I never said I wasn't. Money on it. I never said I wasn't part of the problem. Yes. I never said that. I just wanted to talk about it, and get it out in the open. It's like an I, addiction. I you won't get over it until you confront I, it. I have probably spent like two hundred dollars on Siege stuff alone. Siege. Siege. What's, what is what even there to spend money seed? on? Uh, <laughs> what? Characters? Absolutely, I bought that. Grind for them. Isn't the ultimate I grind for them? Isn't the ultimate edition only like eighty bucks though for all of them? Oh my god, eighty bucks! Yeah, but like well, every like, it wasn't out yet. I think Siege every operator be, from year one I think to year Siege six should kind of just be game. free. I mean, you have to unlock every operator anyway. It should just be a free to play game. No. It's got microtransactions. So you think every game that has microtransactions should be free? Not every they, game, because obviously like there's DLC and things such. Things. But yeah, Siege has like a million of them. I, I like, also uh, think Call of Duty should be free to play, because they also have a shit ton of microtransactions. Well, Warzone is free to play. Yeah. But... There you go. That's, but that's I don't fair. think that sure. would count for like the game mode like Zombies or something like that. Apple. No, I, I think how COD does it is pretty good. And you know, um even if it is the same eighty dollar game over and over again. Eighty dollars. 
Seven Where are you paying eighty dollars for COD? I mean, to get yeah. like you, you gotta get you gotta get zombies. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get yeah. one other zombies map. <laughs> but you know, it has um, it has dawned on me how difficult probably having a free to play model is. Because yeah. for games, nope. wrong. Disagree. Fortnite. Fortnite is. <laughs> The worst example. What is the best example? Of, wait, 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 what, what is your point? Wait, what? What are we saying? <laughs> you didn't even see. You didn't even <laughs> no, hear my I, point. I just said wrong Fortnite. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's I very like hard Fortnite. if you're if you're not an established series. I believe Fortnite got very lucky. Well, to be fair, a lot of it was just good game design. Good game design. Um, well, they started off making an actually unique battle royale that was pretty polished, um, and people started playing it back in twenty seventeen. And whoa, nowadays, whoa, whoa, the game's are actually really polished. polished? You more played, than most free to play games. Early Fortnite. More you, than you most, know. More than most free to play games. Well, also, you do, well, at the time it came out, the main thing was battle royale. So it's also compared to the battle royale. No, the, the, the first thing was. Um, Save the, save the world. I, I, I do believe I you're right in the fact that um, wrong Fortnite. It that is kind of a right take because they did what? basically do it. But you also got to understand that um, what was, who did uh who made for, Fortnite again? Epic. Yeah, Epic, Epic made what? Fortnite. I thought they bought forget? Fortnite. No, what they oh. made it. Okay. So that brings me to the point that, you know, it is Epic that made the game. They had the funds to fall back on. That's what I'm saying is, I mean, they had enough money to make a fully, an actual free game, but make it an actual game. Yeah, I guess you're, I guess you're right. I just don't understand. I think you don't have, have, did they, have they made years. more money than uh, GTA 5 yet? <laughs> Probably, you know? honestly. Um, I wouldn't doubt it. But what I'm do you think thinking... Fortnite ranks on the most profitable games list? At least top three, gotta top be. Three? Like, top three, with, yeah. like with I Tetris and, so, and Minecraft. Uh, no, I wouldn't even put Minecraft. No, on the list. GTA Five would be up there. I don't know about top. Three. Most most copies sold, least or most money made. Money made. Oh yeah, GTA Five is up there. It's all the way up there. I can fact check. I was just about He's doing to... a little fact check for us, Josh. Um, oh, so Jason, what are your thoughts on the Flash? Oh, I love the Flash. Um, I got into it a lot later than uh, Kyler did, but a little bit before you did. And um, we got I, into it I later it. than I did. Yeah, I did. You got into it sooner. Well, I kind of got into it like season three, I think. Yeah, I didn't get into it that early. I was around season five. I got into it. All right, guys. The highest grossing game ever is Dungeon Fighter Online at $20 billion. You're lying. <laughs> you're, you're lying, dude. I'm not. The second Leonard, one, Pac-Man. Leonard, throw the result on the screen. He's lying, dude. And. Okay, first of all, he's not gonna do that. So yes, he all, will. I got it right here. Oh, I found Fortnite. It's number. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, what eleven, the twelve. Heck? Top fifteen. Oh. It's, um, it is it is twenty. He wasn't lying. What? What is this game? I've never heard of this game. Above it is Monster Strike, then World of Warcraft, then Crossfire, then Pub PUBG, then Legends of Leagues, then Lineage, then Honor of Kings, Street Fighter 2, Space Invaders, Pac-Man, Dungeon Fighter Online. I don't know what Dungeon Fighter Online is. What it, it said it's mostly popular in Asia. I don't know, like China. Japan. Known, known in South Korea, Korea as Dungeon and Fighter. Dungeon it's a beat em up. Fighter, but it's online. It's an action role playing game. Released in 2005 in Korea. 
to the latest uh, beta in 2015. How could I have never have heard World of this? Point. This is weird. It was, you'd think the highest grossing game ever made would have a lot more press about it. or I've something. never heard of this game in my life. And seeing how, you know, League of Legends is even farther down the list from this, and I hear so much about that, you how think there would be some kind of... How is We Fit even on the list? Wait, GTA even mentioned? GTA is right under Pokemon Go. Okay, that makes sense. Pokemon right, Go made Pokemon it. Go is one, two, three, four, five levels lower than Fortnite. It. Maple Story? Right above Super Mario World? How's that possible? That makes sense. No. Disagree. Because <laughs> it was on Facebook, isn't it? It's on Facebook? Maple Story? No. You know, everything. Lennon, Lennon everything loves that game. He he lives and dies by it. He, okay, first of all, he doesn't. I think he would cry if, if he heard you say that. <laughs> I think he'd actually make him cry. Guys, there's a lot of Pokemon games on this list. <laughs> They're all old Pokemon games, which were undoubtedly. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, it makes it makes sense. They've had more time to gross money. Mm, fun, Final Pokemon Fantasy X. What? I don't know anyone who's played Final Fantasy X besides you. I don't say Fantasy XI made one point three billion. What are all these? I never would have thought Final these Fantasy games 14, would. Makes sense. Yeah, these are strange picks. Asteroids. Let's go. Oh, speaking of Final Fantasy fourteen, it's it's getting ported to to all consoles yeah, now, so it's, it's gonna be it's gonna get bigger than this. Bigger than ever. And <laughs> it got recently updated. Dungeon Fighter Online though, that's weird. It's a 2D beat em up. We should make a video where we play it. <laughs> this is the highest five game views. ever. <laughs> Alright, let's move on from that topic. I got another topic for That's you guys. Crazy. That's crazy. So I was watching something on YouTube earlier today with a, a comic book artist in it. Big surprise. You big surprise to nerd watching comic book stuff. <laughs> but um, you know, there was also April mentioned earlier about a about the dialogue in Thor movies, and that brought me to the nope. so <laughs> Well, any it doesn't matter either one. The either one it works. But no, no, no. It brought me to the um, thing about the about the evolution of superhero movies as it's gone along, like from Iron Man all the way down to Infinity Personally, War. And this is just me. I like Civil War. Well, I didn't people, say Civil War was bad. April you just wanted did. to get your take out there. People <laughs> <April> did. <laughs> I. I do not like the movie. It's the fight scenes really? really good. Did you really not like that movie? No, I didn't. I, I really didn't. Well, I really didn't finish that movie. Uh, yeah, tell me something was, new. It, the dialogue was so bad. I just couldn't. I couldn't keep going. Viewers, viewers, here's something you're gonna viewers, have to know about there. April. They don't finish like anything. anything. They don't like. They don't finish. If, yeah, if I don't like, if I don't like it enough, I'm not even gonna try to finish it. Dumb. Okay. Crazy. Can't believe we're still even friends, but you know, that's your opinion. <laughs> like, Me I, personally, I'm in the middle. <laughs> I, I love, oh, Iron, Man, Iron Man 1, 2. They're great. They're so good. Those are good movies. Um, okay. I made a well, pretty you know, crazy really... claim the other day. Let me hear um, it. I, I think that Guardians 3 is probably the best Marvel movie ever made. I can agree okay, with that. Okay, so you can, can, you, can, can you can you can stop right now. Okay, you know, well, what do you have to rebuttal? Because you know Iron Man 3 is this. Oh you my know. God. I, oh my god. The action ruins it. You're gonna die. <laughs> You're gonna pass away. Like the dialogue You're gonna pass away. Terrible. I don't remember anything from Iron Man 3 except for the part where he lands in Tennessee and um, gets chummy with some kid. Yeah, great. That's the only good part <laughs> of the movie. I, in case the viewers did not know, I am joking. He's not. Okay. Though. I'm, <laughs> I might be joking. You could never know. Maybe you don't know me, viewer. Might be. I could right. be joking. And what do you? What's your favorite? Close one? It's close. Support. 
What's my favorite superhero movie? Marvel. Well, Marvel. Marvel. Marvel movie. Let me think. Um, there's a lot of Marvel movies. Isn't there that crazy? So too? Many. There is a lot of Marvel movies that is hard to. You know, Shang Chi and the Ten Rings was not that bad. Mm. I heard it's some good. I heard mixed. I about disagree. It. The martial art, the martial artist fights are really good. Oh yeah, the fights were amazing. Probably the best in any Marvel movie. I gotta say. Yeah, that. I think I found it pretty good. Um, I liked Abomination in that movie. I liked that he was just in it. Um, <laughs> but the story was really boring. Let me see. I wouldn't say that's my favorite Marvel movie though. My favorite superhero movie is probably probably Civil War. <laughs> you know what? It's good. It's it's fun. It's just a it's dumb, been fun it's movie. been long enough. So this long. is gonna be this is gonna be a tough take. Oh, it, he's about to say like Snyder Cut or some shit. <laughs> Spider Man, Far From Home. That's a good I, movie. I really like that movie. movie. I think that's my like favorite it. Marvel movie. And April, you can't say shit because you haven't seen it. I'm not good. That's why I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> but I have a strong distaste for that movie even before watching it. Well, you didn't fucking watch it. Uh, April's think... like, well, I'd like Tom Holland if he wouldn't want to fight, which, which he does in Far From Home. He, he you, bas That's basically his scary, whole though. arc in that's his Far, arc from in Far From Home. Is that he has to get it's over... becoming an actual superhero. Right. I mean, uh, I get it. Actually, guys, guys I would feel like it's going to be a first movie of him being a superhero. <laughs> um, my favorite superhero is Superdog. Underdog. So, oh, no, I remember that movie. No, Superdog. Oh, movie Superdog. Actually, Superdog I watched on it top. recently, and it actually sucks. Oh, yeah. I, my I favorite superhero like is... Nine. I like that it's got Earl in it, though. It's the... Uh, dude, oh, oh yeah. I forgot his name. The, the kid from Sky High. <laughs> yeah. Sky High was good. Go ahead, April. I'm sorry. Movie. We were kind yeah, of cutting you off. Sorry. I, I don't even remember what we were talking about. Uh, Spider-Man. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a yeah. I'll watch it. I will watch it eventually. I we'll but I'm gonna it. hate it. I'm gonna we'll hate it. Together. We'll watch it. You're not we'll gonna hate it. it. It's actually a good movie. We'll watch and it. And the Mysterio so fights, can... like whenever Mysterio gets serious, they actually make him like throw. I'll give it a fair chance, but it's not. I'm not. I'm probably not we'll watch it. Which you're not gonna give it a chance. Put our bias on you. No, I gave Homecoming chance. It was just you didn't. You really didn't. It was just not. What did you movie. not like? Him, Homecoming's though. good. Vulture was a good boss. Well, Vulture dialogue. was badass. I did like. I love Vulture. He was great. He was badass. What was wrong? Did characters. you not like I the love like, interest or something? I didn't like any of the other characters. That's fair. I liked Vulture, I like Vulture, Iron Man. They were cool. Iron Man's always cool. I like, but that's where I feel differently is that I actually do like Tom Tom Holland Spider Man. I think he does a good job, and I think his mm -hmm. character arc is. Well I think through. he's. I, I don't Wolverine. think he's the best Spider-Man. We've we've said this multiple times before, think, but not on think, the not on the pod. Um, I think it might be the most common take that Andrew Garfield's the best Spider-Man, Toby's yes. the best Peter, and Tom Holland's the best of both. That's the which most is, common. Which take is ever. why I think which is I which I think is very important. I got two out of three. On I got two out of three. I no the new Spider-Man movies that they're gonna make. Like you know, the next one's supposed to be 2024, right? Um, well, actually, they're Tom coming Holland. out. They're coming out with a series called Spider-Man right. Freshman Year. That's true. Well, I, the new Spider-Man movies uh, with Tom Holland, they're going to be all about him. I'm going to Bert. Never mind. Okay, they're, sure. they're going to be like him coming into his own. So I think you're actually going to like that. I, I'm going to look. I'm going to look at the trailers when that starts. Yeah. And he, his suit is more classic now. It looks really nice, actually. Mm -hmm. Well, Spider-Man freshman year is an animated series about his origin story because oh, yeah, for some reason people want to see um, Uncle Ben die again. So, <laughs> Guys, uh, I have a confession. What? My favorite superhero movie. It's got to be Venom 2. The Human Torch? Is that it's got to be Constantine, guys. <laughs> Constantine wasn't that bad though. I don't it's think Constantine be, was that it's bad. It's gotta be Jared Leto Morbius. Speaking of superhero movies, Invincible season two is coming out in a Ooh, I forget I, I forget the date, but it's coming out pretty soon. You, you don't like Invincible? No. I oh, you're it. gonna get some flack for that. You're I'm gonna just, get some I'm flack. I'm just trying to start drama. <laughs> 
I think like everyone you, here loves it. I, it's cool. yeah, I love them. It's so good. Yeah, I can't. Um, I've been wanting. I haven't gotten around to it, but I've been wanting to get the the comic books, the big thick comic mm-hmm. books. Did you watch Adam Eve yet? The the prequel thing. Yeah, I, I don't know if I want to. I really would either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. I know I'm going to have to, but I don't know if I really. Yeah, I don't want think. To. I don't think anyone's watched that. I think everyone's <laughs> waiting for Invincible season two. Then I can I've, be like, well, I've, you I've know, I, really at least really I get to watch Invincible after watch. this. I've heard really good things about the Adam Eve thing. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, I'm going to watch it. I don't really it. care about Adam Eve. Like her powers. No, I care. I care because I know oh, what's coming I, up. Yeah, I got. I like her. I like. I didn't. So don't spoil it. I. I like her when she's paired with Invincible or like um, in her interconnected drama with the Guardians of the Globe, but on her own. So, so everything? You, you like her when she's doing anything? Yeah, we, anything like that isn't on her own. <laughs> well, anything that's just not her on her own. She just seems like she's Anything her that isn't her inner dialogue. I, I love, I love it. <laughs> anything that can put her on the side and make her a side character. I love. Nah. <laughs> Um, it's gotta be the Flash movie. But I, I haven't seen it yet. But the, speaking of the Flash movie, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm I am not sure. Can I give you my opinion though? I'm no, not gonna spoil anything. Not yet. But I'm giving you my opinion. No, not yet. We'll save it. Uh, okay. We'll make a Flash. I'll, le- I'll leave it. I'll through. leave it. I'll leave it. For now. I will say probably one of mine is uh, Mask of the Phantasm. That's such a good movie. I had that on disc when I was a kid. That's a superhero movie? Batman. Yes. What? (laughs) Batman Mask of the Phantasm? I haven't seen it. Sorry. You haven't seen that? Mm Mm-mm. Okay. Well, it's I've only seen it recently. Immediately got to the top of my list. It's really good. I don't know if you should like that show anymore. Jeez. What? One, it's I mean and the dialogue. But you know, you know, April is known for their really bad taste. Oh, I'm not allowed to like it because April likes it. <laughs> hey, I only I only like things when they have good dialogue. That's my number one. Good dialogue. Okay. Good. okay. If they okay. don't have good dialogue. I'm, I'm on out. the fence. I'm out. <laughs> They're like that's my problem with Marvel. There's no, oh, hard. There's sometimes good dialogue, but not enough. And I'm in the middle. <laughs> I should preface this by saying that uh, you know. Um, I like Xbox. These guys like PlayStation. Oh my god! But I will say I would like Tom Holland if he was a more mature Spider-Man. He's gonna be in the next. You can't movie. give him time. Is yeah, he that's just what supposed I, to that's come out as a like, grown man? Like, <laughs> He's still like a kid, though. Wait, he you just wanted to grow school. up instantly. He was in high school until the last movie. He just got into I college. It's here and there. Come on. No, he's been dead. They killed him off for five years. He's been dead for five years. He wanted to grow up <laughs> while he's dead? What? He wanted his decaying bones to grow longer? <laughs> what did they kill What Spider- was the dust post to do? The, in Infinity War, whenever he got dusted. Oh, yeah. I've got it. I've got and then that's when the time skip. And he lost five years of his life. Nice. Oh. You didn't watch Far From Home. Far From Home makes a huge deal out of that event. And I like That's it. crazy. I just realized that all of his... Man. All of his friends got dusted too, yeah, which so was awesome. very convenient for all of his friends to get dusted the same I, time he was. I think Ned Ned is definitely better in Far From Home. No Way Home. No. Has everyone here seen No Way Home? Well, not mm-hmm. Josh, yes. but uh, not April has. You have, but you I haven't seen it. Far From Home. But not fucking far. Yeah, exactly. That's that's why she, they don't like fucking. No way home. So they didn't like it doesn't home. make sense like no without home. the prefaces of That's what, what happened. I like well, you don't like Tom Holland in No Way Home. And it's because you didn't watch Far From Home. You can understand what he's doing in No Way Home because of what you saw in Far From Home. I mean, they kind of just showed what he did. They kind of showed what happened. No, they didn't. They no, It was very limited. They showed they like, show the very it. end of the movie. And that's it. They didn't show how, how much he was trying to fight against that. During he, it, he had so much character development in Far From Home. It's insane that you skipped mm. it. And, and he Lord finally, Lord. um, we finally got a good use of Spider Sense. It was, True. it was so good. 
they started learning how to use it better <laughs> and you know the the whole um the whole iron man iron man is dead stuff arc happened during that was good i like that i think that was the... handled pretty well yeah which is i hope you they haven't explicitly said that there's going to be an uncle ben in us uh, freshman year and i feel like this universe probably doesn't need one actually guys i have a confession to make marvel reached out to me and they hired me to voice uncle ben in the spider-man series no, no way. way i just made a couple of groans <laughs> so that's all we're gonna see if <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All I said was Peter, great power, <laughs> responsibility, or some shit. Oh, <laughs> absolute power corrupts absolutely. <laughs> Have they? Has anyone said that to him yet? I don't think so. Um, he did. Oh, say you that. know what? That in the first one, he said that his uncle said that. <laughs> his uncle said that. Oh, no, Did wait, he? didn't Mysterio say it to him? I'm um, not sure. What if they know. kill Happy? That would that would be a twist. I thought they already killed Happy. Is he dead? I thought I he was alive. Know, dude, I have no fucking idea. If it don't have anything to do with Spider-Man, I do not care. Guys, let's stop talking about mid and let's talk about Megamind. Megamind? That's all I came here to talk okay, about. I actually rewatched that today. Today? Yeah. Awesome. Really? What a Fire. twist. That's probably one of the best superhero movies ever made, period. Really? I yep. would say... Well, I I just... Oh, you're a villain like already. Three. Like top just not a super one. I would say in comedy superhero movies, it's like top three. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Like anything that isn't like the big boys, I would say it's like top. Oh yeah, it's up there. If peak. We, including I those. mean, I, I would also put Scott High pretty high up there. Just for the nostalgia when was the last factor. time you watched it? I have never. Uh, last week. You've never watched Sky High? I avoided it like a plague. Oh Why? my god! We all gotta watch Sky High now. We all gotta watch. See, Sky High. see what I tell you. It's it's a goaded movie. I it's it like underdog pilled, where it's kind of like a Disney Channel original superhero movie. Except but Sky High was actually but good. The town. Oh, underdog. It was a cute dog. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. This was girl? Sky High was during the time of Disney Channel original movies where they were actually like experimenting trying, with stuff, yeah. and they weren't just making like, like TikTok, uh, <laughs> zombies movies or something like that. They weren't making four zombies movies, making musical movies all year round. But that was like back whenever they made that time travel movie, and yeah, like the... um, Surfs Up, not Surfs Up, um, the. Team Beach movie. That's it. No, I Team Beach it. movie came way after. Way after. Yeah, <laughs> way, it came after. way after. That was still <laughs> part of the era, though. Yeah, like, um, you guys remember Halloween Town? I love those movies. Yes. Ooh, yes. Yeah, was... Halloween Town. Oh, my God. Very good area of Disney. And then I those... remember a thing for the movies, though. Not a thing. And then you get, um, I don't know. You get those original movies like before it come on and be those kids jumping up and down through that film reel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at the start. <laughs> they were stuck in the perpetual hell of watching Minute Disney Man. Channel original movies. Minutemen. With um with the guy from Good Luck Charlie. Yes. Dude, Good Luck Charlie was funny. It was so good. It was a good show. It's really funny. Mm, it gets clouded mm. in the it gets clouded in the and Okay, don't get me wrong. It's a good show. And it is funny, but some of the, some of their jokes land flat. I'm not gonna lie. Like back when I was a kid, back when I was a kid, they were funny. But now that I'm like older, they just kind of okay, land well, flat for me. Well, I mean anything, you know. That, Most you could say no, no. Some really. like I, I could watch Mega Mind when I'm seven and watch Mega Mind when I'm seventy, and That's I'm still fair. gonna laugh. You could watch you can watch Megamind at any point in your life, and you'll oh. always love it. When I was watching it today, I was losing my mind. It's just the last scene where he's just pointing the gun at the crowd saying, Get back, you savages! <laughs> it's so funny. Megamind yeah. is one of my favorite movies ever. I, really I love the part where Metro Man comes back, and he farts really loudly. And then um, 
and then Titan's like, no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Speaking of, um, shoot. Yes. Do you guys um, remember Dog with a Blog? Yes. Yes. <laughs> why does everyone sound? <laughs> like why did everyone say it like that? <laughs> well, one, do you do you are you proud that you watched that show? Are you proud? I liked it. Oh, I love that show when I watched it. Oh yeah, that was a great <laughs> show. Phineas and Ferb the movie across the second dimension. Fire. Fire. A lot. A lot. A lot. What mm -hmm. was the it was was it a movie or was it a special where they crossed the world on a giant like rubber band ball or something? That was a special, I believe. Yeah, that's that's a favorite special. So was the Marvel's Avenger one. Mm -hmm. I oh, liked yeah. the Star Wars one. That one was fun. Star Wars one. Yeah, there was one where they just acted out Star Wars like Family Guy. <laughs> Except better. Except it was better. <laughs> here's a little. Here's a little bit more backstories for one of your crew. I personally watch a lot of Family Guy. Too much, yeah, actually. Yeah, I think I think they can tell. No, they Jason cannot, the dude. Most. Don't make I fun of me the like middle, that. I watch the least. I've seen just the right amount, I think. Yeah. Now you're gonna, this, dude. That's like a that's like a zodiac sign. How when you tell someone, when you tell someone you're a Libra. Oh, I knew you were a Libra just from the way you carry yourself. I knew you're a Family Guy enjoyer. Okay, one more. No, you did not. Dude. One more. Wizards of Waverly Place the movie. Never even watched the show. Uh, uh, you know, you know, Max in that uh, movie got kind of jicked because you know he just got a fucking sandwich shop. <laughs> he just got a sandwich shop. I love how the youngest kid like actually died in the movie. The he youngest vanished. kid. Yeah, he got erased from reality. Well, they all did, except not Alex. all of them. Yeah, uh, I think that was funny. At the time when I when I was watching stuff on Disney Channel, I didn't. I usually didn't watch anything with magic in it. I think that's fair. I'm not a fan of magic either. I think that's the only time I've seen them use magic in a productive way. In the movie, when um when he runs out of nachos, he just uses magic to make more nachos. And I said, and I say to myself every time, why do they not do that more often? If I was a wizard, that would be my one spell. That would be the one spell I know. Like, they've never <laughs> done that in the show, at least to my knowledge. And all of a sudden, they're just like, you know, we just make more nachos. We what? just create things out of air. <laughs> why, is, why is no one in the wizarding world been like, hey, let's just solve world hunger real quick. Yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah, why don't they just open up a nacho shop where all the nachos are free? It doesn't have to be nachos. This doesn't have to be. I assume. I think it has to be nachos. It's, it's an allegory. It's an allegory. Just like, why can't they just nachos. make food? No, nachos it's, was the big point. That was the big. But point. you know, in in Wizard of the Waverly Place, they never said like they had. You know how like in games you have like mana points and stuff, and it has to refill MP, and everything. Yeah, they don't have SP points. Yeah, they they just use magic when they want to use magic. That's true. So someone could infinitely create food. How do you know someone hasn't already done that in the lore? Because they had um they had a homeless person on there. You're right. They and had they people didn't make him with any less food. Money. <laughs> they didn't make the homeless man food. They might have thrown him an apple. Suffer. They probably have a rule against that though for money. No, yeah, they absolutely do. Maybe that's why they can't make infinite food. Well, they do they have a set of the market. wizard rules, like yeah. fairly odd parents. But you know, if you who's the person at the top brass that was like, "Do not feed the homeless. Do not help people. Do, do not like help anyone." That. How can you defend that? <laughs> you, defend. Like, oh, how do you like know they use magic? magic? Well, they're probably the strongest wizard ever. Yeah, like um, that professor. He so could, no one can feasibly stop them. Every time he came there, like, and there was like a mess going on, he would just fix it real quick. Right. So they're probably like, they're just like, well, I know you're using magic. I can sense it. Talk. <laughs> and then, and then Justin, he, 
So, he was such a hard ass. There had to be there had to be another Justin running around taking care of the rules. Justin. More like I'm not gonna say it. Don't say that. Don't I'm say that. Say it. <laughs> Don't say that. So how do you guys feel about the um the actor strike? The SAG after um strike. Do you think it'll like affect get back to work? Okay. <laughs> or not. He doesn't mean that. He doesn't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, April, have you heard about this? About the actors I, going on strike? Are you serious? I've read bits and pieces, yeah. I I know pretty much everything about it. <laughs> I was I'm actually on the picket line right now. Um yeah, I'm actually out on the field. No, I, I feel I feel like I respect okay. it. I respect it. There's for, there's plenty of Mad movies respect. and TVs and TV stuff. Um until they get paid, you know, they can stay out there for as long as they want until they get paid. Stay out there as want. long as they want. Stay out there as long as you want, buddy. <laughs> Let's talk like, about I'll... something actually interesting, like the like the Reddit strike. That didn't go anywhere. Why would you want to talk about that? <laughs> It didn't work. <laughs> it was. It's funny to me because they went on strike and said we're going to be on strike for a week, and Reddit was like, "Okay." And it wasn't even a. Week. It wasn't really a strike. Even they just no. private it, and then some of them came back earlier than they said they would. They, if you're going to set a time frame, then that tells the company you absolutely cannot live without their product. <laughs> we're gonna do this for a week. Why wouldn't you just say indefinitely until something changes? Like, mm-hmm. it's, it's just not, not going to work if you say a week. It's, it's a, a protest. break. It's not a. It's not a strike. <laughs> it's not a protest. It's just a vacation. It's a break. We're gonna make a red and blackout. <laughs> That's how long people take breaks. <laughs> and it's not even. You you haven't even shut down the whole site. Most of the subreddits were still active still doing stuff that's true so it didn't impact at all and reddit got more traffic because of the news of the strike so they just <laughs> made more money <laughs> it's all stupid so dumb i love it if you're gonna if you're gonna be like that just delete the subreddit that's a I bigger love, threat i love big corporations big companies that abuse their power i love it i love uh where nine like two percent of the people have 90% of the wealth. I love that shit. <laughs> that's, baby. It's, it's not 2%, it's 1%. <laughs> well, it's 2% because half of it belongs to me. <laughs> what What was the statistic? Was like 1%, 1% and like 98. Owns, 98. And then, and then the fragrance goes down like and then i own the rest of the two percent then there's like <laughs> um it's just like 0.01 percent on like 75 or something like that right that's fine <laughs> you know if elon musk gave every american one million dollars he can't that's all do I'm that that's all i'm saying <laughs> lot, that's the end of the argument um, First of all, he can. He can't do that. He doesn't have a million dollars for every American. He does, though. He does, though. No, he doesn't. It's mathematically impossible. How much? How much? How much money is that? That's like three hundred trillion dollars. No, no, no. I'm asking you, fool. How much money is that? Uh, five hundred trillion dollars. And he absolutely has that money. (laughs) He got it. (laughs) He got it somewhere. He's struggling with Twitter. He's, He's struggling Elon. With Twitter. I mean, he could at least slide me like a like five hundred bucks, you know. <laughs> he could slide me two dollars for my. Well, you know, slide people, some bucks on the low. Rich people didn't get rich sliding people five hundred dollars. Yeah, but it's me we're talking about. The good old boy. I'm not just some people. <laughs> <laughs> He's the Pokemon boy. Like you should I'm just give him like, boy. Him like ten bucks. You gotta All give right. me sixty bucks so I can All play right, the next Pokemon game. Elon Musk. Pretty please. Man, I I'd do anything to for him to slide me five hundred bucks under the table. Right now. 
right now anything you know open invitation elon musk <laughs> dm me on instagram not x because that shit sucks but dm me on instagram <laughs> you know what just came out recently that i wanted threads. to talk about threads do any of you guys like top down games <clears throat> oh so not threads I no, like one. I didn't want to talk about that. Well, technically, I'm good. Gun games. I like Enter the Gungeon. Well, yeah, pretty much. That's different. Um, That's not. So, Baldur's Gate 3 just came out. Nah, I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> I, okay, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't care. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like top down games. And then I know it's, it's not for you. If you don't like top down games, it's not for you. But the press it's getting. It's making it seem like it's like the next coming of Christ or something like that. Because <laughs> they're like, well, well, Baldur Gate just shows that you should hold gaming to a higher standard, which I do agree wow. with. But it's it's a top down game. They can fit a lot more stuff in there than they can with a first person That's or true. third person game. I'm like Diablo, like, like the new game. Diablo that came out. There's a lot of stuff in there, but that's because they have the space for it. They don't really like top-down games. I, I I like Pokemon Unite, even though I don't like Pokemon Unite, and I like Into the Gungeon, but those don't really really count. Yeah, uh, like Dungeon Crawlers, like Risk of Rain. Well, well that's, that's third top person. That's, that's not, not top-down. Top um, like, uh, I, I, I like, do like Project Zomboid. Well, I mean, if you're throwing out Risk of Rain, I like Risk of Rain, too. <laughs> yeah, I like Risk of Rain. That's not what I, I like meant. It. I was thinking of something else. It's not, but I like it. <laughs> uh, What's it called? Dead Ops Arcade. Oh, yeah. I hated Dead Ops Arcade. It was okay. I didn't hate it. It was alright. It was fun. I like Black Ops 1 <laughs> more. The Black Ops 1 version? No, I can't wait more. Yeah. But you know what also? Speaking of... uh. Speaking of torture, um, <laughs> a trailer for Overwatch season battle pass. No, we're not going to talk about that. No, we're, no. we're not going to talk about <laughs> Overwatch that. Overwatch is condemned. But a trailer uh, for for Saw X came out recently. I didn't watch it. You did not. Oh man. So it it takes place between uh, Saw One and Saw Two, which is a little what? weird to me. I know it's going to be good, but... I didn't watch the last Saw that came out with Chris Rock. That's fine. You probably don't need to. <laughs> I watched it's... every Saw up to Jigsaw and stopped. Jigsaw is it's one of those movies where you just leave... You, you just watch the movie, and all you take Wait. away from it was that it was fun. It was a movie. Yeah. It was fun. It was definitely a movie. The traps were pretty cool. Huh? What happened? Two's already out. I thought. It, oh, I thought it didn't come out yet. What? I said Saw the, X. Saw X. Huh. What are you? T- what are you talking about? I really just got recommended this thing, and it's like, hey, Remnant Two's out. Oh. Remnant Two has been out for a while now. Yeah, that's not like a few months from now. That last month. Hmm. Okay, so what's your favorite Saw trap? Uh, <laughs> this would be the the time to say bear trap, right? No, I, uh, my favorite trap is the uh, the one where he has the hooks in his skin, and he has to you sick fuck, and he has to <laughs> rip them out in order to get free. Otherwise, they'll tear open his uh rib cage. I think I like that. I thought that was the lady. Was that the lady? Yeah, I remember. And then she had to put her hand in a in a vial of acid to get the key. And then it didn't work. She got trolled. Um, wasn't it the trap where it's like, man, scammer gets there scammed. was no way to get out. My favorite trap. I don't have a favorite trap, but I really like the one. I like that movie where, um, uh, Saw sends that guy down the warehouse, and he just has to decide to save people or not. <laughs> that movie's really good. That one's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I haven't seen any of them. We'll watch all of them. No. Yeah. We'll, we'll get the box set for you. Oh, I like the I like that 
I also like Saw 2. That movie and then Saw 2 are really good. Because I like the trap in Saw 2 where it's just a pit of used needles. And they would be perfectly fine just moving the needles aside and grabbing what was in it. But no, that guy goes and pushes the girl into the used needles and she falls right in. That was such a better way to do that. But he was nervous. Wow. There was a there was a time frame. Well, and um, you know if there was a pit of used needles, April, and there was a key in it, would would you jump in after the key? I would find the quickest way to commit suicide. I, okay. Probably the needle. So you went you went to so different you would jump right in. <laughs> but you know it was it was her trap she was a drug user it was her trap but also like, she was the pig so they got the whole acid in the cup thing pour acid in your face just but kill, you know if you were in a saw trap you'd just kill yourself you know that's what i like about that one though because that's fair. do i have to deal with it i mean a lot of them are a lot of them are so bullshit <laughs> but you know you just uh, ruined the fun oh well fuck it i like that that needle trap because um you know even though that she did create the traps all the the traps that uh were for her were true about herself she wasn't um she wasn't spared from her own judgment true that goes hard i um i i think a lot of the traps are so bullshit oh no you know what my favorite trap is the one where it's like the public execution so let me let me paint a picture for you april so there were these two guys and they were both sleeping with this one woman and they wake up in this like glass cage and they're like chained to this mechanism where they have to push the saw either direction of both guys lest the woman up top be dropped onto the saw and they just they decided to just kill her and let let the saw kill her it was pretty good Pretty good trap. They had a good bromance. It's okay. We we were listening. You could have you could have explained that more. <laughs> you could have explained no, that was why it. it was so good. That was, the whole thing. that was not all. That was it. Oh, that was so they so look, they were in a clear glass box in front of everybody, where they could see them doing this trap. Now yeah. while they were so everyone it, could watch them kill her. While everyone was pushing, uh, while they were pushing the girl, whoever was winning in the pushing. She would root for that person, like yeah. uh, like she the cheating, the cheating. Uh, I, I won't say that. Because she's a the cheater. Oh yeah, yeah. You told me about her. Yeah, you told me. Yeah, about yeah. And then, she then they're just like, it. "Is she worth it?" No, she isn't. <laughs> and they're like, "She's for the streets." Let's her get eviscerated. We also, saw. we also talked about um, the other day the legal implications of that trap. Yeah, we did. That's right. I'd rather they would be tried for her death or not. And I, I ruled it as self-defense. I think um I think she's a cheater and uh she kind of got what was coming to her. No, that's harsh. <laughs> I think it depends. That's really harsh. I think it depends. That was kind of the how message they, they were talking for, before, wasn't it? Or they did it. Yeah, I mean that was the message. Well, before they do it, they they were just trying to well, they were trying to kill them. each other. They were trying to kill each other. And then they were like, well, she's not worth it, bro. And he was like, you're right. She's not worth it. Like, you, they like, couldn't hear them through the glass, so they, they wouldn't know. Die, or they're like, hey, you want to kill her? Yeah, I should have been. Yeah. They it was kind of like that at the end. They were like, let's just let her die instead of one of us. See, all they had to do is just not push. Yeah. And then she dies. That was the thing. Mm -hmm. So basically, in action, her death was through in action. Very, it would be a Isn't very... that triable? I don't believe it's tribal. It, it would, it they would, couldn't it would hear them. Trial, but it would, it they would could probably, probably like her parents could probably yeah. sue them. But it probably get but, thrown out. But is she gonna is is the situation? Is the parents gonna sue them or the person that made the trap? They can't catch the motherfucker that made the trap. That's true. <laughs> but in the end, they did. No, he died. That's crazy. I don't know enough about the movie. I'm, I'm, I'm taking something. I'm taking something from this motherfucker. I'm going to sue someone. <laughs> so the Le give me his scalpels. I don't care. Stop it. <laughs> I'm going to take a body part from this motherfucker. I mean, they would be doing that until um they show, they show, uh, they show them the jigsaw tape. 
He died of brain cancer. Uh, the tape that they were selling before the thing started, Heather, how was like, this girl has been two timing both of you. Now you have to decide her fate. Right. Yeah, that's pretty clear cut evidence. <laughs> he orchestrated it. You think you think three people just get kidnapped like that? No, he <laughs> orchestrated it. You think we just did this for fun? We're just like, hey, let's kill this lady. One of the de defenses would definitely be like one of her boyfriends orchestrated the whole thing. And then they'd be like, well, the truth is all there. <laughs> we caught the jigsaw kill. We, we know what he was doing. <laughs> Your honor, we're suing someone. You think it's a gonna man be just somebody. falls like that? No, he orchestrated it. <laughs> they they both can probably just plead the fifth. I'd plead the... I, I, sir, I did not push. I did not okay, push that's enough. All. That's enough of that. Um, have you I guys just, seen the new teen, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie? No. I haven't seen it, no. And is it out? We can't talk about it. It is all. It is I know all. They, I know they reference Attack on Titan twice in the movie. That brings me back to the actor strike. The actors can't promote the movie the until the strike is over. Isn't the writer strike? They're both striking. Both the, the actors writers are striking? And the, yeah, actors are striking. Wait, is that what you were talking about earlier? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the actors, you were talking about the writer strike. Like every actor, like um, all the Marvel actors, the Teen Marvel Ninja actors? Turtle actors. Why are they yeah, they're strike? all striking right now. Why are they not strike? Because, you know, like only like 3% of Hollywood actors actually get paid good money. Yeah, it's bullshit. And everybody wants a fair wage now, which they deserve very much like, so. I watched, I saw one video and one of those like, uh, out after like everything got taken out of their like pay, they got paid 30 bucks. <laughs> and then some people, I hear some people were like, well, I was, I continued to get tricks for a job I did one time. And it's, it's not about how much time they spent on the job or that they only did the job one time. And so that these corporate studios keep making money off of that thing. But they're that not they on. the people that made them. Exactly. Yeah. Bullshit. Like imagine, imagine somebody to make residuals. <laughs> Sounds like, fun. like, imagine somebody makes a YouTube video for you and you give Machinima. them like 50 bucks. Machinima. You're right. <laughs> if you haven't heard of Miss Cinema, That's go real. look it up. <laughs> yeah, that is an actual concept. Yeah, they give you 50 bucks to make the video and then make $5,000 off of it. Wouldn't you feel kind of jicked? Even though yeah, you did you all the work? About, um, you know about Miss Cinema, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's exactly what they used to do. But they. I still do that shit. You hear about Life of Luxury? No, what happened? You didn't hear about Life of Luxury? Mm -mm. You know Life of Luxury, right, though? The prank channel? No, they're not a prank channel. They make, like, the spooky, scary videos that are, like, actually produced very well. Like, um, her son won't stop growing at night. Like, shit like that. You remember those videos? Produced very well? They're produced pretty well for how low budget they are. But, like, they, they, they had that meme that was, like, the tall guy banging his head against the door. And he was like, Wah. you know, weren't they the guys that caught EDP? No, 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 not those. those look guys? up like Life of Luxury. Okay, um, continue talking while I look them up. They made the little horror videos, and they were really entertaining, and they got pretty like self-aware about like how um, the same they kind of are and stuff, and they started getting really funny with it. But they were still like produced in a way that they're still pretty scary. Creepy. These are the guys that caught EDP. They did. Oh my god. Though. They're not. Yes, they did. They're not. Those are different guys. The the guy that caught EDP was like an actual piece of shit. These guys are cool. Uh, what's EDP? He's what's been living inside EDP? him. Don't answer that. I'd rather. You've been living under. I'd rather they not know. You've been living under a rock. Okay, anyway, Life oh, of Luxury. Oh, I see what you're talking about now. Yeah, so Life of Luxury, they make those videos, and they joined, what do you call it? 
like the one of those YouTube companies that hire a bunch of YouTubers and then just, yeah, I know what you're talking like about. What what do you call those? Um, like I think MCN, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Multi so, multi content marketing, I think is what it's called. Yeah, so they joined an MCM, and um, after a while, they stopped. Like they just started holding their revenue for no reason for like three months. Isn't that reminds me? Um, Smosh had the exact same problem before right. that company set shut down, and they got sold to Mythical. So Life of Luxury, they posted on their story what what's been happening with them, and that they. Like they keep calling them and stuff and uh, they are just being like really rude and like not talking to them about anything so they're um shutting down they're just not going to post on life of luxury anymore um, it's, and it's it's crazy because you're basically insane. selling your channel like once because they the mcm absolutely did uh, actually just nothing to help them they made like they have they're at like a couple mil i think right now and if you if you didn't know this, um, Matt Pat actually sold all four of his channels to MCM. Mm. Yeah, no. which is seven, crazy to me. Seven point one million subscribers, which is insane that they're going to have to like stop posting on this channel now because they are not getting any of the revenue from it. And it's it's the ultimate slime ball behavior. These companies coming and taking over these. Uh, these semi big channels and they give these promises of like, hey, we're gonna be able to make you help you make bigger videos. And all you have to do is just sign this little piece of paper. And then basically they just control like your whole channel. Good thing they had other channels though. They didn't sell all of their channels. Right. That's true. They have the other one. Um and you know they have their social media and stuff so they really need to get back where they want to get to they could oh, that's neat. this is crazy dude actually yeah they're gonna lose the whole channel because you know they're not paying them the fucking revenue at all they're just holding it all this is actually pretty good you're you're right these aren't the edp guys I can explain I who EDP guys. was to you, April, if you, if you really want to. I don't think that's a good idea. I mean, it's not a good idea. Want to take too long? Is it like a long story? No, not really. Oh, Danny reacted to these guys. I remember now. Danny Gonzalez? Yeah, he reacted to the Dolphin Man video. <laughs> <laughs> Cinnamon Toast can have been reacting for the, to them for like months. Dude, you watched some Cinnamon yeah. Toast can? Absolutely. You still do? I don't know that many people that still do. Him and, um, I used to. But yeah, I'm so canceled. Oh, man. <laughs> but, uh, okay, so EDP, right? I'm going to explain it to April in a way that won't get us shut down. Okay. <laughs> so he was this YouTuber, like YouTube personality, who he was all right. He wasn't super funny. He had a couple memes about him. Like, um, he's this big, I don't want to call him fat, but he's this overweight gentleman, darker pigmentation. You've probably mm -hmm. seen like one or two of the memes of him. Mm -hmm. Um, but he got caught trying to meet up with an underage girl. Ah. Uh. And and when they they met up with him, they were like, well, "Who are you? What are you doing over here, man? What are you doing here?" And he was like, I, 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 "I'm just I'm just I'm just uh, here getting a get that picking up a getting a cupcake." <laughs> this situation is comical. He's this was like two been, years ago. Yeah, he's been popping in and off the internet he's been the whole popping time up everywhere. But people keep shutting him down. Oh, that guy! Yeah, oh, you looked him up. Oh no! I just remembered that it's in a that it's EDP's an abbreviation. Yeah. No. But you know, I don't, I don't really like talking about that guy. I I used to watch that guy, but uh, but I you don't never know anymore. Yeah. But you know, it, you never know. it's like that every time you watch a Minecraft YouTuber, it's all the same. 
Yeah, I used to watch Shadows <laughs> Minecraft, but he turned out to be a piece of shit. <laughs> like all of them. I don't know. Except, hey, except like uh, exactly. Bastardverse. Rest in peace, Bastardverse, man. Exactly. Rest in peace, man. Yeah. He didn't get caught before he died. No, he killed himself because of what people were saying about him. Oh, that's right. Rest he didn't do any of that, though. Awful. Rest in peace. It is actually awful that allegations like that can ruin you, yeah. your life and everything. He, like, he that's made... what happened to Toe Buskus. Toe Buskus. Yeah, don't, didn't those rumors turn out not to be true, but he still He had got so much anyway. evidence against them, and talking about it, like, you could see he was, like, trying not to, like, cry and stuff. Um, like, I'm, I like, you. he's such yeah. a good guy. Yeah, he's not like that. <laughs> He's such a good guy, too. Well, you know, if they had just sung a song in their apology so, video, yeah, maybe... Yeah, he should have played the ukulele. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Um, he should have said, what... said, said, I'm not a groomer. It's just a runner. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a groomer. Just a loser. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, um, April, surely you know about the Colleen Ballinger situation. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know about that. <laughs> so tone deaf. It's stupid. <laughs> I thought it was funny as hell. I think it's stupid. I don't think there's been anything funnier. I don't think there's been a funnier YouTube apology since the <laughs> probably not the Logan Paul one. Like just how out of touch and <laughs> like the allegations are so serious and there's so much evidence against her. And she decided to sing a silly little song. No. I don't no. know, man. And then her lawyers were like, you should not speak on this. You yeah, should said, shut up. She said at the beginning, well, my lawyers said not to talk about it, but they didn't say anything about singing about it. <laughs> and it's so comical, dude, that it, it, it makes me feel like she should never be on any platform again. It makes she me feel warm and get a job. How fucking stupid that apology is. Oh, man. You know, we're getting pretty deep into it. So as our last topic for today, I want to talk about something that's been going around on YouTube for a little bit. Um, XQC and some ordinary gamer, Uh, (laughs) they got into a fight about reaction streamers. People that see the reaction he was talking about. Yeah. The Limino video. I like that. Do you know about this? Uh, No, I have not been into this. So XQC dropped a video where it was a stream of him watching a full video, making absolutely no commentary about it, and it's just got his face at the bottom, and then uploaded the entire stream on YouTube, again, with almost no commentary. So he just, like, re-uploaded the same video with his and, face um, on it, which is so scummy. For a while now, it's been raging on Twitter. I don't know if it's died down or not. It might have. It's a um, week or two ago, I think. But like people are Wait, basically say Twitter. Oh, X. Oh, X. We'll talk about that another time. <laughs> but but basically, what's been going on is people are like these um, streamers are taking money from the people who make the videos that they're barely reacting to. Yeah, like that guy probably spent hundreds of hours researching the topic and making the video. And so, XQC is just going to steal all the revenue. So do you guys think rat. you guys think that um, for that type of comp- content, I believe that some reaction content is transformative and people yeah. can like make it into yeah, like, something well, yeah, else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, it can't just be a re-upload of the entire video with your face in the corner. Yeah, I feel, I feel that's right too. Like a good example, like we said, Cinnamon Toast can does it very well and tasteful. Yeah, like you can't just show the whole thing and just or, re-upload it. And he That's actually the does have people. insightful commentary. Like uh, Matt Pat watching like a father like, an thing. <laughs> he'll pause every five seconds. Right. Talk about it. But but with Matt Pat, you know that when he pauses, he's going to talk in depth about something. When he pauses, from his he's experience. Give you a lecture. Yeah, every <laughs> single time. Or like. Or like even when he's playing a video game, he's gonna give you some in depth about something you probably didn't know about the video game. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's also that's also what I want to talk about. Uh, streamers, Man, streamers that just streamers that 
Like, uh, there's some streamers that just play videos and then sleep on stream. Right. <laughs> and this isn't to, like, point anybody out, but, like, there's some streamers that literally... Fingers, but you better stop. They just sleep on stream with, like, 2,000 plus viewers. Okay. If the, if the stream is just sleeping, it, that's stupid. But if it's, like, a, a subathon, then I get it. Well, there's street sleeping streams. Which is which is weird to me. You, you don't want to watch someone sleep? No. <laughs> I feel like that's the least amount of effort you can put into something. Some like people, people sleep. Some people. We'll dissect that later. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like you're not giving anything. When you're sleeping, you're even worse than people that just put their face in the corner because you're not oh, even yeah. there. At least they're awake. It's yeah, not even like awake. watching something with someone. Like I could get the excuse of like it's like I'm sitting next to XUC watching it with my with my little boyfriend in the corner, you know. But yeah, but this you're just watching someone sleep while watching videos. It's, it's like, like stalking TikTok. somebody. <laughs> it's like I want to watch this guy sleep, but it's so boring. Put something in the corner, please. Subway servers or something. That's why sometimes um I don't want to watch streams because I don't want to be associated with a, with somebody that watches streams. <laughs> you don't want to be labeled as a stream watcher. No, I do not. I don't watch I've, live streams. So I often. think I'd say like every couple months I'll watch one. I watch one. I think whenever Jay does, Jordan, on streams. I think um, the best stance I have on this is if it's not transformative, then it's just taking money from the original content creator. Now, and, now uh, I will say this, Ludwig, you guys know Ludwig, right? Unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> Ludwig <laughs> said that, um, that just as much as this original content is needed, that reaction content is also needed. But I I believe that one probably could survive a little bit more than the other one could. The his his argument was that uh, it gives good exposure for smaller video creators, which is true. But I wouldn't necessarily call it important. It's good that it's good that it's there, but it still needs to be transformative. Exactly. Exactly. Like uh, there's one channel I watch, and what, and one of them, is, one of them is like a psychologist, and one of them is a filmmaker, and they'll go and talk about the details between the script writing, between the actual production process of movies and shows. Yeah, you like you get an insight that you otherwise would not have if you just watched the original. Oh, yeah, I love that channel a lot. I watch it all the time. That's transformative to me. I don't know anything about that. I'd just be on TikTok watching NPC live streams. Okay, and with that, we're going to end the podcast here. Check us out next time where we'll talk about NPC live streams and Twitter becoming X and tweets becoming just posts. We're going to well, forget about all of that and not talk about any of it. Then write it fucking down. I don't care. You write it down. Fuck you.